there's um there's a lot of different pets this weekly they've kind of rotated out but you know you've got the classics now like the dragonfly the dragonfly seems to be a staple now of uh, the weeklies dragonfly's been in like the last three or four now i feel like but you have the poodle this week for scaling which is exciting so i definitely want to try and get the poodle to pop off this week uh, but yeah, I, I haven't gotten a win yet on this weekly. I've been pretty busy, so I've not been playing that much. Anyway, what are we waiting on? Let's just, let's just jump into it. Let's get into the dang game. Okay, right off the bat, this is pretty bad. Oh uh, yeah, betta fish is, uh, I, I've kind of been pilling the betta fish, to be honest. And the macaque isn't. I'm not interested in the macaque anymore because it, ever since they changed it, ever since they changed it to be the uh, the orangutan spawner instead of the gorilla spawner, it's not as it's not as intriguing to me. We'll be uh, the skulking hipsters because that's what hipsters do. I think. I think. I mean, I'm not surprised by this outcome here. We we had a pretty pretty abysmal team, to be honest. At least the otter didn't buff the horse, because uh, the horse is out of here. Oh yeah, there's there's a ton of a ton of uh, summoners this weekly. I don't know if I've if I've played a shark this weekly yet though. No, yeah, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and put it in. I'll take that. I'll take it. Can we uh, win one of these at some point, please? All right. I think I think what I need to do is I need to I need to step back for a second and be a little bit more strategic. Let's let's think logically through what we're doing. There are a lot of good opportunities for the Ox this week, but in the games where I've put the Ox in, the Ox has not really done much for me. I think it might be better to try and hope for something else and just roll. And honestly, we've gotten nothing better. This is abysmal yet again. I'm going to roll it. Honestly, Elephant Blowfish might be fun. I've seen that work, and I got absolutely demolished by an Elephant Blowfish team in the last game I played before stream. Uh, but the key to the puzzle here is a Blowfish, and we only have the Elephant, so that could be a bit of an issue. The other issue is the fact that we're, uh, we're going to continue to lose, apparently. Uh, what tier is this guy? Tier three. Okay. Maybe we can pull the spoil. I mean, we're going to be on tier three next turn anyway. What am I talking about? I was going to say we could pull the, the spider in hopes that we get the, uh, we're dead again. The blowfish. There it is. There's the blowfish. But yeah, no point. No point at all. I mean, this is just bad. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm not gonna lie. This is a bad team. Bison scaling, or no, sorry, buffalo scaling could go kind of crazy. But honestly, you know what? We're we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna sell the duck, put you in, and then buy an elephant. I'm not interested in the lobster. I've never, I don't think I've bought a single lobster ever. I don't, I don't really understand the utility of the lobster, to be honest. It's never made any sense to me. <laughs> this is awful. What an awful first game this is. 
Basically, we need to scale or else uh, a lobster again. Are you kidding me? Otherwise, we can kiss all of our dreams goodbye here. I mean, I think a kangaroo here, if you could give me a blowfish, that would be nice. No blowfish? Okay. Well, if we live, the elephant is going forever. The elephant's out of here. As simple as that. We're dead. We're dead. What an awful, awful, awful first round or first game. We can ignore that. Can we wipe that one from the records, please? All right, this is going to be the one. This is going to be it here. We're going to be the crispified nuts. Just kind of let that image simmer in your brain. Better than a loss. I'll, I'll take that. I mean, it's it's a slight improvement on what we were doing last game. And honestly, I'm going to put an apple on our on our frontmost duck. I think that'll be good. Oh. I mean, I didn't lose. I didn't lose, so... You, I, Give me a, something I can do. It doesn't want me to level up here. It really doesn't. You know what? We're going to do this. If it doesn't want me to level up, fine. Maybe it's because I haven't showed the game how committed I am to the duck. Another draw. Nothing but draws. Maybe this is the my my trajectory here tonight. I play the first game, I lose badly. The second game I play, I, I just draw. And then I lose a bunch. The third game, I win. Granted, I'd like to win here, but we'll 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 wait for that to happen here. Okay, we'll we'll do this. Actually, I'm going to put you in just so that way I don't have to pay extra for a level next turn. If that makes any sense to anyone at all. Hey, here we go, a win. And they, they were saying that it might not be possible. But look at that. All right. Get rid of the marmoset. I think the donkey right now would be our our best bet. And honestly, you can move up a little bit. Because you're only going to do your thing once. At the moment, at least. All right, another draw. You know, we, we were due for another draw, to be honest. Uh, no, I've never, I've never thought about it, actually, but I have had nightmares in which I do that. So I don't think I ever want to really, you know, do it for real. Because it, it was a pretty scary experience in my nightmare that I had. Uh, I'll put a, I'll put a bed of fish in. Why not? What if we did this and then put another bed of fish in? Okay, now the donkey gets to go up front. Although, does this make any sense? Why? <laughs> what are we doing? You know what? This looks like a winning team to me. This is a winning lineup. So I'm, that's just just from gut instinct alone. 
never mind. That's just an incredibly strong puppy. That's the first defeat of the game. Give me something good. The fire ant. Give attack to one random friend. Do we have the donut? This? Yeah, we do. Okay. I mean, I'm trying to figure out if there's any utility for this this week. And maybe I'm just missing out on something. It would be great if you could, if we had the, the rooster or whatever it is. Even then, that's not really that good. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I don't want to take the fire ant. Long story short, I'm not taking it. <laughs> uh, I don't really think I should have more than one tier one unit in my team still. And yet here we are. I, okay. Uh, if I had to get rid of one, it's going to be the goose. I'll do this. Okay, the orangutan could be pretty good. It's a little bit too late for a puppy, I think. I'll put an orangutan on for now, and then we'll probably pill the betta fish. Honestly, I think I might pill the betta fish onto the orangutan, because I don't really want... If the donkey's going to stick around, he shouldn't be in the front. So we need to, we need to start training... Oh, we're dead. We need to start training someone else to be the front unit. And I think the orangutan is the best candidate for the job. Honestly, it's time for the duck to go. You know, we're not looking great by any means. I've been trying to think of fun teams that will result in ribbons, and one I've been considering trying is Big Toucan and pulling a walrus to give it a peanut. Then Toucan gives the other pets peanut. That would be fun. I've been wanting to get the, uh, what's his name? The seagull. I've always wanted to get the seagull and a peanut to work, but it's never lined up. And it will continue to not line up. Ooh, this this is maybe... So that'll take you to 9... 10. Not as strong as that guy. But actually, maybe we want you in the back. Yeah. I think this is, uh, this is the move. Another pet that I want to get to work is uh, the Orca. I don't think I've won with it yet. Or like with the ribbon, that is. Yeah. Orca, uh, no, wait. Yeah, Orca Whale would be pretty crazy. That is true. But I can't, wait, but is, uh... Yeah, the walrus. Oh, yeah, the walrus is in. Oh! Oh, yeah, that's completely doable then. I don't know why I was thinking that I couldn't do that. Oh, okay, okay. Hmm. Maybe if I get lucky, I'll even get to try it tonight. All right, let me live one more day. This has got to win, right? I know we're on like turn nine. Yeah, turn nine, uh, one win. <laughs> this is bad. We've lost. Oh, wait, no, but I don't want to do that. Uh, my team, my team. 
Give the nearest friend plus three experience. I mean, I guess that would be good for the donkey, but that's only going to put it to level two. And it's like, okay, fine, sure, thanks. But why? Why would I want that? So you can move them three times or two times, I mean? That doesn't seem worth it to me. What is it? I'm dead. I'm so dead. Look at my team. You know what? You the the donkey hasn't leveled up a single time. What am I doing? What is my placement? I don't know. This is. I'm gonna have the same uh, mental fatigue as I did last weekly. Where I'm, I start freaking out because I don't understand what's going on. All right, sell that, this, this. You know what? Sure, do that. We're probably gonna lose anyway. Honestly, let's put you all the way in the back. It's so stupid that this orangutan is not even going to be enough on its own. Actually, well, maybe, maybe it will. Okay, never mind. We're dead. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, all right. Here we go. This is. I need to. This is my problem. We we got to enter in a good headspace. We can't. We're not going to be able to win if I'm if I'm thinking this way. All right. You're going to have incredible shop luck. Incredible shop luck. Incredible logic and team placement. Incredible logic and team synergy. We're scaling. It's all about scaling. Dear chat GPT, what is the best placement for my team. I have a marmoset 2-3. I have a moth 2-1. I have a beaver 3-2. It said that was the best placement. We'll be the uh, awkward towers. Kind of like the leaning tower of Pisa. Come on, man. You can't stand up straight. What's, what's your problem? Kind of awkward. Kind of an awkward moment if your tower is going to be leaning. Like, what's what's going on, man? They've had, like, what? Uh, 7,000 years to, to fix it, get it standing upright, and they haven't done it yet? Kind of lazy. Kind of lazy of those Italians, am I right? All right, the logic is pouring out of my brain. I can feel it. Facts and logic. That's right. That's right. Yeah, you know what? Level three marmoset. Watch out, because I'm I might I might just come through with a, a level three marmoset, and then what are you gonna do? Your team is basically toast at that point if you, if you go up against me. <laughs> Level 3 Marmoset. That'll make any anyone uh, cower in fear. That's for sure. Alright, let's pill the Flamingo. And give its effects to our Blowfish. And our Marmoset. Because our Marmoset is going to go to Level 3 and it's going to carry our team uh, to the end. Basically. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. It's going to work. This is going to work. So my, my problem last time was that I, I went in too early. I got the elephant before I got the blowfish and the game was like, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Order. Your order is all messed up. You, you got to do the blowfish first, get the blowfish strong. Then you come in with the elephant. And I was trying to come in with a strong elephant. That didn't make any sense. No sense whatsoever. 
it's it, it's gonna be so scary in fact so scary that i i lost all right moth you gotta get out of here man Yeah, sure. Give it to the marmoset. That's exactly what I wanted, actually. So, I'm not, uh, I'm not even mad at all. So, now you may be wondering why am I freezing all these betta fishes, and which unit of these four am I going to actually put on the team? And the answer is the kangaroo. And I'll explain it. I'll explain why this makes no sense. Um, why I'm going to keep these frozen is I'm going to, I'm going to get a, a beaver to level up next turn. It's going to happen. Despite the fact that I have three of the five available slots, or I guess four, because we're not going to get another one next turn. Despite the fact that I have three of our four slots bogged down by the ice cubes, it's going to give me a, a beaver to level up. I believe it. That's how much faith I have in this, uh, this setup. All right, here comes the beaver level up. Never mind. So now we're going to do this. And then we're going to do that. And we'll hang on to this. Okay, but really we need to, we need to get rid of the marmoset. I hate to say it. But the marmoset has served its function. We're dead. The hippo's going crazy this weekly, by the way. I need to get on on that action. It is, um... It's going insane. All right, sell. Pill. Buy. Buy. Okay, we're going to keep buying Benefish. It's, it's just as simple as that. Honestly, we might get rid of the elephant because, like, he's... Oh. He's not really doing that much for us. Okay, sure. The more the merrier in terms of scaling. We're going to be inventing scaling too tonight, that's for sure. No way our elephant gets to do more than one attack. We're dead. Why? You... It's not my fault that I'm not lucky. What, do I, what can I do about that? You know? Okay, here, we got to figure this out. So what's the most optimal route here? If we do this, we get plus four, plus two, three times, which would be plus 12, plus six. If we level it up, that is just plus eight, plus four. So I think the answer is obvious here. I'm going to roll again. That is true. The most optimal route is to not lose anymore. But unfortunately, with my luck, it's uh, that's just simply gonna have to be a a fantasy. I maybe I should just I don't know. Maybe I should just stop freezing every betta fish I see. Just a thought. <laughs> Holy why 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 is it giving me so many betta fish in the shop? I don't want it. I, I don't want it. I, I need that. I need that space to be filled by other pets that I can level up uh, such as elephant, such as blowfish, such as kangaroo, three pets that I'd like to stick around on the team. And yet, what does this shop do? Better fish, better fish, better fish, better fish, better fish. He thinks I'm running a damn aquarium over here or something. And even if I was, I want more variety than just one type of fish. I'm dead. Because it wanted me to make a, an aquarium. It's not my fault. I'm not I'm not running an aquarium over here. Super auto pets, more like super uh super aquatic pets. Am I right? 
We'll be the uh, unwashed husbands for uh, Body Positivity Month for February. Great start, great start. Let's just start scaling. Let's start scaling early. You know, they say the most optimal time to start teaching your child how to speak is right when they're out of the womb. You just start speaking to them. And I think the same logic can be applied to scaling. Start scaling as early as possible. That is true. Beta puff, puffer and turtle. Very aquatic this weekly. And seagull, seagull's pretty aquatic too. All right, we're going. We're we're throw out the fishing net. We're back in action. We're going crazy. This team can't lose. Look at this. It's so insane, it cannot lose. What did I say? I might not be thinking with any logic whatsoever right now, but... We won. I don't really want to be scaling up the ducks, so I'm going to save a pill for later. More money is always nice. Okay, I guess we, we, if we had saved that Flamingo, we could have gotten a level up next turn, but, you know, who's to blame? Why, why would I want to level up a Flamingo? In this economy? I don't think so. Alright, Moth, gone, Owl, bought to be sold. Roll. Beaver, buy, sell. Swan is in for now. And then we... I, honestly, I think a bat is pretty good this week. Source. My limited experience. And poor gameplay. What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? Do I want to increase my bats capacity? I think not actually. For uh, We're going to go for the betta fish. It's just as simple as that. And honestly, do this. I don't know, that, that might be a poor decision, but stay tuned. Okay. We got five lives, though. We can we can afford to lose one or two or three. Ho okay. Okay. I'm dead. Wait, hold on. Maybe not. Wow. Never count your eggs before they're all hatched, as they say. Give me a can. More importantly, though, I think I'd like to start thinking about pilling these guys, because it's uh, it, they're kind of overstaying their welcome. We're, okay, you know what? Next turn, regardless of a level up, I'm pilling them. And I think I'll pill the... I'm going to pill them onto the kangaroo. I forgot why I wasn't pilling them. It's because I was waiting for a better animal. And I, I mean, the kangaroo is not the greatest. It's a tier three out of six. But it's better than anything else we have on the team. So, so that's why I think it should qualify for a scholarship this year. You know? It's working hard. It's proving itself. I'm going to do, I'm going to pill the, the flamingo first. 
onto the kangaroo and the swan because i think these two are sticking around ideally the duck goes soon when i don't know kangaroo does do well with the slug that is true oh boy oh okay we're, we're starting to get some good shops don't okay well the the dragonfly can't help it it has to buff the uh the duck unfortunately all right that's that's fine we'll bounce back from that that wasn't we're we still got a long ways to go The only question here is, what do I sell? A beaver isn't worth it. What am I talking about? A poodle? What do we got? Okay, a two, a three, a one, and a three. The betta fish is gone soon. The duck is going to be gone soon. I think poodle is the way to go here. Here's that slug. You're going to give plus two health. Okay, here's the dream is we roll and get a pill. We sell the duck. We put the slug in, pill the betta fish onto the slug. So the slug is strong and, and the poodle is going to buff the slug. So that would be a pretty strong slug. It's kind of dependent on getting a, a pill either now or at the start of the next turn. Oh man. <laughs> okay. Well, things have taken a turn for potentially the better here. If we could get something good from our next level up, that would be great. And they're doing the strategy that I wanted to do. Thanks, thanks a lot for copying me. All right, give me something good. The walrus. A big walrus in the front could be good. Okay, well, okay. This is like the next best case scenario here. Let's see if we get a pill. No, we don't. But we get a level up. Okay. It's, you know, it's, it's not running exactly the plan. Oh, this is great, actually. Oh. Oh, yeah. That was an incredibly strong puppy at the end there. We're, we're kind of lucky that we got through that, honestly. What an insane puppy. All right. I know I have a ton of frozen guys in the shop. I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna just roll for a pill and hope. Okay, here we go. This is exactly what I've been waiting for. Incredibly strong slug. Two poodles in there for now. Then we put the walrus in at the front. And then, did you see that scaling? Holy cow. Now that's what I call scaling. All right. That was like, that almost kind of benefited me greatly. What they did to my team there. Honestly, do I just keep the, the, no, what am I talking about? I'm, I'm spouting out insane things. What about a shark? Honestly, a shark would be pretty cool, especially if I swap out the swan for an orca. I could level the orca up to three and get three spawns. 
that probably spawn other things. I mean, that sounds pretty crazy to me. IMO, it sounds pretty crazy. Also, it's going to get the poodle level up. Sure. Everyone's getting buffed. Incredible. Honestly, this team sh should win. There's no reason why this team shouldn't win. See if I care. See if I care about your your stupid little flea. Your minuscule little animal. That probably gets killed every day by just people accidentally stepping on it without them even realizing they've killed anything. What do I do? Ooh. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Let me cook. This could be it. This could be exactly what I needed. Hold on. I spoke too soon. The hippo is literally like the worst unit I could have possibly had up here in front of me. I'm dead. Sentences said moments before absolute despair. Let me cook. I didn't mean to do that. I mean, it was a fun team, so what more What more could you ask for? I mean, Super Auto Pets is a game where um, it's just, you know, it's just about having fun. We're going to be um, smooth abs. Certainly not anything I have. I thought that could have been a win right off the bat, and I was, you know, a little bit excited, but it, it wasn't. It wasn't. Let's sell the horse, because he's not doing anything. Of course you sell the horse. Quote from uh, Dr. Seuss. Maybe. Probably, though. I don't really know. I made it up, but it could be a Dr. Seuss quote, and that's all that matters here. All right, we're scaling. Watch out, everybody. We are scaling. Oh, uh, you know what? I should have I just put the marmoset in. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Pretty foolish of me, not gonna lie. Probably would have gotten us the win there, to be honest. Not that I did any of the calculations in my head, it's just my opinion. Oh wait, no, we're not even leveling up this turn, so it's okay. Sure. We'll do that. Give me something good. A lobster stop. What? Another uh, aquatic animal. Lobster. Didn't even really think of that one. They'll sell you next and then put the owl in and sell the owl and then hopefully do something like that again. A win! Incredible. Actually, I'm going to I'm going to sell the No, maybe not. Yeah, no. That doesn't make any sense. I didn't really want to land on the moth, but there's only so much you can do. I guess a giraffe is our best consistent scaler. So we'll, we'll do that for now. 
getting 10 attack for free right off the bat is pretty good. So I'll take it. I took it and ran with it, that's for sure. All right, we're, we're gonna we're gonna get rid of you, and then we're gonna do this. And then we're gonna sell the moth, put the dragonfly in. Sell the turtle. You're gonna do, okay, do this. And we're gonna start buffing the slug. Hold on, this, I just realized the slug can get pretty insane if we do it like this, if we set it up so that way it gets buffs from the dragonfly and the draft. This is gonna be crazy, if it works. It's not gonna be good for the first little bit, but you know, I have high faith in this. Yes, we are trying out the same exact <laughs> team that we had last time where we lost, but what if it works this time? You're gonna buff two units. That's fine. That's perfectly reasonable. So pretty soon the slug's gonna be good enough to move to the front. Hold on, I'm dead. Hold on, maybe not. There's a chance. Oh, hey. Yeah. I do remember that. I think you did say thanks, actually. I feel like I remember that. Ooh, okay, our slug is going to be ready to move into the front now. And then we do this. I think... I think this should be good. Maybe, well, let's put the marmoset in the back. I think this makes the most sense. Oh no, it's, it's slug v slug. And they got a ox. We're dead. Honestly, it might be time for the marmoset to go just so we can go a little crazy with the zebra. That was, oh yeah, I forgot that the, the zebra, it's uh. It's random, so the, the donut works. That's... Okay. I... Sometimes you just forget things in this game, you know? Snake behind this kangaroo. If we get the kangaroo leveled up, that is. Could be crazy. Shark. Could also be crazy. So you're gonna make two other units. That's three. You know what? I think I think the shark is a worthwhile investment here. And then we'll unfreeze the snake. Forget about the snake. No need. The snake is not needed on this lineup. However, we are probably dead. <laughs> yeah. All right, last chance to make this team work. Give every friend of each level. So that's okay. Honestly, get, get rid of you and we're gonna put the poodle in. Because you'll be buffing everybody, except for the slug or dragonfly. We'll see. Stay tuned to find out which pet it buffs. 
It's going to blow your mind. Number three on the list, you'll never see coming. Wait, hold on. We've just defeated a... Hippo. Sorry, it took me a minute to realize that we were winning. We were indeed winning. I think, yeah, the uh, level 2 kangaroo is kind of the best option here. The seal! I just realized how insane the seal could go with the the donut. Oh man, that, that might be something that I need to keep in mind for next game. Holy cow, okay. I I keep forgetting how crazy the donut really is. The melon on the shark was a little bit scary, but I got over that fear pretty quickly. Honestly, one friend of each level. So you're going to be giving it to, you only be giving it to two pets. I think it'd be better if we swapped you out for a monkey. <laughs> And now you're going to be, the poodle's going to be giving buffs to everybody, regardless of uh, the socioeconomic status. No, why the hell did I freeze the dragonfly? What's wrong with me? Stupid. Wait. Why didn't he, why didn't he give it to the... Oh, because monkey and shark are the same... Okay. Well, that's, uh, that's, uh, the end of that one. Uh, pretty bad, pretty bad. What the hell is this shop? Honestly, let's just go old school lineup. Just weakest to strongest, please. Six wins is an improvement, although I think I got seven earlier, so I've been on a downward trajectory again. We'll be the uh, Burbling Bogans just because it's uh, alliteration. It's so strange. I feel like my teams aren't that bad, but I don't know. I don't know. The game seems to indicate otherwise. All right, we'll get a level up and we'll buff someone. Come on, this is a win. Thank you. Honestly, what if I do this? Who's going to stop me? Probably no one, am I right? It might just work. It might just work. Let's see. It almost worked. We drew against Big Booba. Very cool. All right, two level ups next turn. That's that's pretty good. I'm excited for that. Ooh. That was pretty good. That was almost beautiful, I dare say. 
Okay, we'll level up this one first. Buffalo. Hold on, this could be the winner. Many people are starting to say this could be the winner here. The goose is next to go. And we're going to replace the goose with uh, someone less silly. Because uh, it's kind of a silly goose. Just some buy sell units would be fun here. But you can't get everything you want in life, I suppose. Actually, let's let's use up the purchases for the buffalo. Sure, why not? You can go in the back and then we'll swap these two. Oh, I forgot it's the orangutan's not gonna be doing anything if we keep doing the buy cells. So maybe maybe the orangutan doesn't make any sense here. However, a puppy. I think a puppy and orangutan would be pretty good. Let's just send you to the front. Oh, I completely forgot about the fact that the puppy needs two gold for it to actually do its job. My bad. Sorry, guys. My bad. Honestly, though, I think this is the better bet for our future. To not worry as much about the puppy. Because, I mean, it, it scales pretty fast in terms of attack, at least. In fact, let's, let's help it out a little bit there. Oh, we should definitely flip the stats also. I'm glad I did not get sucked down the hippo vortex. And then put you in the back. All right. All right. Let's let's see what we got. This seems pretty good, but you know that's what I said last game as well. Here's our sixth win. Stay tuned to find out if we can uh, surpass our failures. And the orangutan is just going to be in a perpetual state of buffing itself, I suppose. Hmm. Ah! Okay. Okay, okay. A level three spider. I haven't seen that in quite a while, actually. We're definitely getting a level two orangutan. That's exciting. I think it makes the most sense to just get the croissant on every single guy here. Because our orangutan's going to be doing the the health buffs, so. 
Why not? The boar is kind of tempting to put in for the kangaroo, but it's like, what am I going to send out? Kind of a tough ask. I mean, our buffalo is not going to be getting much buffing from here. So we got to kind of take it where we can. I think we really need to win these next two in a row. Or not in a row, but like... Oh, Jesus. Dude, what the hell? You're... That was uh, an insane elephant blowfish combo. Please? Okay, this is our best bet. Or our, our only option, I should say. Pretty soon, I might just send the... the puppy up to the front. I don't know, this isn't looking too good now. We're kind of back in that same position we were in that, that last game. I don't I don't need another buffalo. Sorry. That's just the truth. Yeah, let's let's get a croissant on you. Buff my kangaroo. Thank you. dead on arrival i mean our team is pretty consistently strong but everyone else's teams are just stronger you know what can you do and i i really can't afford to swap anyone out at this point it's tough Honestly, this kind of makes the most sense. I know. I feel like we kind of have to. So you're going to buff you, and then that'll get you looking really good. All right, please. Please. I need this. We're dead. All right, scaling is the key here. Keep that in mind. We do need to be scaling. Two weeklies of just nonstop scaling is what we're dealing with. Will be the gushing eggplants. Winky emoji, smiling face, uh, s spitting emoji, etc. So on and so forth. We're going crazy. The health and wellness of our team is of the utmost importance. We got to sell the beaver if that's what it takes. Buy, sell the beaver. Sell it. Buy the otter. Sell it. Get me a level. Sell the goose. Buy the giraffe. Anything and everything that can get me scaling, I'm taking it. I'm taking drastic measures. We lost anyway. It's not by much, though. Keep that in mind. Don't forget it.
Nothing. Unbelievable. Death again. I guess it's not a death, I'm just losing. It feels it's it feels equivalent to a death though, you know. Why not? What what happened? What what's the worst that can happen if we get a strong duck? Huh? Nothing. That's what. We just get a strong unit to begin with and we just keep buffing it. That makes sense to me. You know who it doesn't make any sense to? Team Wood and Super Auto Pets. They're constantly getting in my face telling me, no, this doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. What are you doing? And what do I say? I'm just trying to buff my units. You got a problem with it? And they say, yeah, we do. We got to keep your uh, spirits low and crushed. Not for long, however. Not for long. Honestly, I, there's no point in me having the marm set still. Also, additionally, we're going to do all this. Oh, I had gold. Wow, who would have known? Yeah, we can get a 30-30 duck by uh, turn 9. I think things will be looking good for us. If we can make it to turn 9, that would be incredible. I might not make it to turn 9. Garlic will help, but it might not be enough, to be honest. <laughs> oh, no. That, that was just, that was all around awful. What can I say? <laughs> 